the Dan fans back in town. So for a short while, I was kind of trying to shimmy away from the whole Mark Wade versus diversity in comics controversy. Given that my parodies have gotten a lot more traction lately, I kind of already stated how I felt about Mark Wade and the Alterna comics controversy. I believe my exact words were, Mark Wade, you are a cunt. I might as well talk about it a little bit more. I mean, who doesn't love ripping on Mark Wade? So recently this live stream came out on Nerdist that was supposed to be an interview with Mark Wade, but people noticed right away that they were kind of not talking about the lawsuit between him and Richard C. Meyer. So they were kind of spamming the chat a little bit, like, oh, why won't they talk about the lawsuit? Why don't you talk about the lawsuit? Because they were just talking comics and, you know, Smallville and stuff like that. And it turns out that the moderators kept on deleting their comments, which made it even more controversial because, okay, why don't you want the live chat talking about the lawsuit? And people were under the impression at first that, okay, maybe this interview interview is supposed to be like a safe space, like they're not going to talk about the lawsuit because that's too stressful for Mark Wade. We're going to just talk about comics and get his mind off of it or something. Oh no 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 no. That is not the purpose of this live stream. So around the last 15 or 10 minutes of the live stream, he finally brings up the lawsuit between him and Richard C. Meyer and gives Mark Wade basically a platform to direct people to his GoFundMe. All right, guys, uh, as much as we could spend all day talking comics and superheroes, you're here for a very serious reason. Mark, you have unfortunately become the target of a lawsuit. I have. Target of a lawsuit. Immediately just assuming that Mark Wade is the victim. He's like, oh, you're a target. Someone's suing you? Oh, man, you poor thing. The long and short of it is, is it one of the perceived leaders of the online harassment group Comicsgate is suing you for defamation? No. No. A single sentence. And you've already said so many things wrong. Comicsgate continuously has said, no, we're not a harassment campaign. We don't harass people. We just criticize and we want good material. We want good comics. We're not directly contacting you and spamming your inbox. And if people are doing that, then they're not one of us. That's basically what Comics Gate has been said, saying for, for a while now. It was, it was kind of the same thing with Gamergate. And they're gonna bring up Gamergate, I'm sure of that. But notice how he says, you're being sued for defamation. It's like, you're not being sued for defamation. Defamation is a subcategory in what you're being sued for. You're being sued for torturous interference with a contract, not defamation. But as this interview goes on, they make it seem as though Mark Wade is being sued for saying bad things about bad people. You can't publish that person's book. I don't like them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bully you <laughs> into not publishing their book. It's not the same as just, oh, I just said mean things about him online because I didn't like him, but now he's suing me for defamation. It's not fair. So, what can you tell us about this? What's going on? There's not, again, there's not much I can say about the lawsuit itself. Sure. Um, well, you could say that it's not for defamation. You could correct him. You could do that. Say they're not bullies, they're not angry or whatever, but they don't, you don't go around calling people cucks yeah. and, you know, SJW, SJW. You know what? I carry the title SJW with pride. You know who else does? Every superhero you love, go away. Weird that you're listing SJW as an insult that you've gotten online, while also saying that you are proud to be called an SJW. Oh, also, SJWs came up with that term. They came up with the term social justice warrior. That was them. The issue now is it's being noted for, for being a group of bad people because they act bad. The term that they put on themselves and that they changed the meaning of to mean something awful and corrupt. Nobody had to do that for them. They did that to themselves. And, and NPCs and, you know, soy boys. Mm -hmm. Without, that, like, that's, that's the language of a bully. <laughs> the language, the language you have to deal with. Cuck, which is just funny. That's just a funny word. SJW, which they came up with themselves. And soy boys. Soy boy is also really funny. <laughs> Like, if PewDiePie has talked about the word soy boy, but they have jokes about it. You can't take a joke. And these are the words that he's using. They're not nearly as bad as some of the things that I've been called online, or some of the things that I know other people have called online, or some of the things that Mark Wade has called other people online. 
he himself is guilty of saying worse things than what he's listing has been said about him. Oh yeah, I've been pretty outspoken yeah. against this, and so now it's turned into you know, a lawsuit that hinges a, a huge part on defamation. It doesn't hinge on defamation. The basic idea of a lawsuit, the basic idea of what the court is supposed to do is it's supposed to put you in the position that you were in before the, the outsider or the defendant put you in this current situation. So like if the defendant stole your TV, oh well he has to pay for the TV so that you're put in the position that you were before. What hinges on the lawsuit is whether or not you called Antarctic Press and convinced them to drop the book. That's what the lawsuit is hinging on, because you prevented Richard C. Meyer from getting his book published and therefore prevented him from making minis. These are legal damages. Whether or not you're responsible for those damages does not count on defamation. You're not being sued for defamation. Defamation is a subcategory to the lawsuit. You're being sued for torturous interference with the contract. You're being sued because you prevented his book from being published, not because you said mean things about him online. In this whole live stream, you're, you're not actually saying what you're being sued for. You're just deflecting it. It's like, oh, well, defamation is part of the lawsuit. Let me just say that I'm being sued for defamation. He's suing me because I spoke out against him and his hate campaign, and now he's suing me for defamation. Oh, no, no, no. You are purposely misleading people. Gotten a lot of hits, gotten a lot of heat. Yeah. And I'm not saying that to complain. I'm saying it to make the point that I'm a straight white guy and I'm getting that level mm -hmm. from these guys. You can only imagine what women, people of color, mm -hmm. LGBTQ, mm -hmm. pe creators in this industry and fans in this industry get, not just from comics gate, but you know, toxic fandom in general. Um, I firmly believe the lawsuit was filed specifically to try to intimidate and silence people who are trying to stand up. You see, I'm conflicted here because I don't know if Mark Wade is ignorant or if he's purposely misleading people here. Do you actually believe that you're standing up for these people? Taking their money to defend a lawsuit, a personal lawsuit for something wrong that you did. You're taking advantage of your fans. Okay, okay. Let me try to see this from Mark Wade's eyes. Um, he, well, first of all, you're not being sued for defamation, you're being sued for breaching a contract. But maybe if he thinks, oh, by, by convincing Enric Press to not publish Diversity in Comics book, I've, I've stopped him from becoming more famous and therefore getting a better platform and therefore getting more fans and therefore spreading more... Hate. Mark Wade says a lot that Richard C. Meyer has to take responsibility for everything that his fans might do, but really I've never seen Mark Wade take responsibility for anything that his fans do, and his fans do a lot of shady shit. They harass, they dig into people's lives, they keep trying to dox people who are supporting Richard C. Meyer in this lawsuit. That one supporter, Nancy, she like got doxxed, her workplace got doxxed, and, and then you got, what, that umbrella guy who almost got doxxed, they tried to dox Richard C. Meyer. I don't see him taking any responsibility for that. Let's just have an honest moment here. They're not responsible for what their fans do. Unless they are saying to the fans, do this, they're not responsible. You can say all you want, oh, well, they got an influence. But everyone on this planet has an influence over everyone. You take responsibility for your own actions, and you need to expect your fans to take responsibility for their own actions. Fact of the matter is, Mark Wade, if you want to defend these people online, you're completely free to do so. What you're not allowed to do is contact a publisher and convince them to not, not hold this guy's book. You're not allowed to harass publishers. Being so obsessed with someone that you need to actively prevent them from making any money or, or getting their career situated is ridiculous. You have completely crossed the line. Oh, so I, you know, 
I work in comics. I'm not a rich guy. Yeah. Lawsuits are expensive. Because uh, that's the idea. It's, it's, it's help me make this stand. Help me, you know, make the stand that this is not okay. You know what else is not okay? Harassing businesses! Is there a way that comic book fans and professionals and people that are in the industry, out of the industry, can, can sort of help make it better? I think the only thing I can think of is just to try to restrain yourself when you're angry online. Yeah. <laughs> you are probably not the best person to be giving the advice, try to restrain yourself. The is I'm redoubling my efforts to try to understand that escalating it is not the answer. Just immediately shifting, going from zero to you're a Nazi mm -hmm. is probably not the best way to go. Probably not. Probably not, no. It's probably not the best way to go about it. I would ask you to go to markway.com, take a look at the background on this lawsuit. Oh, yes. Let's go to markway.com. Okay, people, hold on to your hats. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a trip right here. Oh, I love this, I love this. Uh, an online movement, he doesn't call it a harassment movement in this statement, but, but he, let, he let the interviewer call it a harassment movement, that I and many comic professionals, ooh, ooh, strongly feel has unfairly, oh, look at that, look at that, it seems, it seems that you're a lot less certain now, now that you're being sued and now that what you're saying can actually be used against you, you're saying, oh, well, it might not actually be this way, but I we strongly feel it's this way. We feel like it's that way. Or well, it might not actually be a harassment movement, but it's an online movement. I Muster Meyer alleges that I deliberately and single-handedly blocked the publication of one of his comic books. I did no such thing. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this lawsuit is his effort to try and intimidate and silence those of us who stand up publicly against bigotry and racism. Very obviously, he's not going to talk about how he did call the publisher, admitted it, admitted that he called the publisher. Oh, and also the publisher, that night, the night, the, the day that you called them, that night, he, the publisher got in contact with Richard Meyer and told him that you called them. And basically, Richard is under the impression based on that phone call and based on him talking to Antarctic Press, he's under the impression that you bullied them. And even if he doesn't have the witness statements, there's a lot of evidence against Mark Wade already. So, not looking very good for you, buddy. You admitting that you did it and that you were the reason that they dropped the book, not a good thing. Not a good thing to have as evidence against you. Mr. Maya is also suing me for defamation. It's a subcategory. And in the live stream, you said that he was just suing you for defamation. You said, yeah, it hinges on defamation. No. No, 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 no. Oh, now in this statement, you're saying, oh, he's also suing me for defamation. And it's kind of funny. He, um, he posts these little tweets that Diversity in Comics made. Out of context, of course. This one, I know, was out of context, um, and the one about, oh yeah, okay, so this one was about Mags, I think, which he already apologized to and donated a huge chunk of money to, um, what was it, the Trevor, the Trevor Foundation or something, something like that, which basically dedic is dedicated to helping trans youth. If I were wealthy, a lawsuit wouldn't be much of an issue, but I work, you know, in comics. Oh god. He, he's just, he just really milks, I'm poor, I work in comics, poor me. There are literally texts of you, you keep on saying, oh, lawsuits are so pricey and I'm so poor. There are literally text messages of you threatening your own friends and your own business partners with legal action. It wasn't pricey for you then, apparently. What, have you suddenly hit this bump in the road and now all your money is gone? Whose fault is that? But, um, no, a lot of people are actually theorizing them. The reason why he's doing the whole GoFundMe thing is just because he's stubborn and he doesn't want to pay for for the Diversity in Comics lawsuit. I'm not gonna pay for this. I don't like that guy. I'm not giving him any of my money. Instead, he just gets his fans to pay for it. It's also really, really funny to me because you definitely make more than the people you're asking money for, from. 
You definitely make more than them. They're over here like, Lisa, may I have some more? Oh no, son. That money's for Mark Wade. It's also funny that Mark's, Mark's big, oh, you can't support this guy is, he said mean things about some people online. Well, at least he didn't contact the publisher. Okay, guys, we are obviously here to support you.